Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Season of the Dawn. Today we'll be covering the impossible task bounty that you can get from Osiris, or sorry, quest that you can get from Osiris, and this will lead up into Saint 14 next week. So what you want to do is you want to talk to Osiris and you want to take the bounty and he will start a little cinematic cutscene. I have edited out all the cutscenes so we have nothing to worry about. No spoilers in this at all. You guys are safe. I've cut it out. So what we need to do is we need to go to Mercury, Io, and Nessus and, and kill certain little uh, oracle-like beings, Vex Transformers across the planet. So there are five on each and I'm going to show you the locations. The first one we're going to stop at Mercury and we're gonna begin. So, the first one that I'm covering is behind the lighthouse from the spawn. Simply look up, there's a Colossus. There's, yeah, Colossus. Make sure you shoot him and then shoot this thing above. As you guys can see, I will also show on the map where it is. Just for safe me measure, the Vex Transformers are easy to spot and they can be seen on your map when you're very close, indicating whether up top or bottom. The next one is underneath the map here and closest to the right side of the map. It's on, when you spawn, it's on your left side, but on the map, it's on your right. You guys will see it on the map here. Right side, but from spawn, go to the left. Underneath the waterfall, you will see the Vex Transformer hidden away underneath here. Simply shoot it, and that's two out of five. The next one is in front of the entrance to the Infinite Forest. Simply shoot it, and that look above and collect that one. That is three out of five. Hopefully you guys don't mind me showing you on the map where it is just in case there's certain people that are like, oh, well, where's this one? Blah, 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 blah. So shoot that. That will be three out of five. The next one is over here, kind of hidden on the left-hand side of the map, aka the right side from spawn. As I, you can see on the map here, I'm in the corner. On the very edge, simply go down beneath. Uh, you'll see a little walkway. Shoot this one, and then you will have this one. Now, this one can be accessed during the public event, but it can be accessed not during a public event. So as you guys can see, it's all the way at the far end there. You'll see a little cube floating there, of course, as you guys can see on the map. That's the one that we need. You can do that during the whole public event, but if there's no public event active and you just don't want to do it, simply just walk over to the very edge and start shooting it. Grab a sniper, anything like that, and that will conclude all the Vex Transformers on Mercury. The next ones that we're going to cover is actually on Nessus. As you guys can see, Mercury is 5 out of 5. So on Nessus, simply go to Artifact's Edge. That's where we're going to start first. Simply from when you spawn, turn around, and you will see a cube floating up top on the little grass-like area. As you guys can see it's in blatant view. Simply shoot it with a sniper or anything like that, and that will be 1 out of 5. And then we only have 4 more to go, obviously. I mean, 1 minus, or 5 minus 1 is 4, so you know so shoot it and then we will have that one the next one here will be in the tangled underneath the tree trunks you'll see as you guys can see on the screen it'll be hidden amongst them simply go to the one in the center of the map as you guys can see on the map on the mini map it shows you where it is so it'll show you when you're near it it's above or below this one was a little bit tricky for me to find but right there underneath the tangled uh, tree trunk simply shoot this one and that will be two out of five the next one that we're going to cover, as you guys can see on screen, is going to be from Watcher's Grave. Turn around and start going up towards the hollows, the hallows, however you want to pronounce it. It's all different from anyone. Follow my route that I'm showing on screen into the hallows, and you will see that it the Vex Transformer is in a little compartment, and it's not very well hidden, if you might, if I might ask. But when you enter the hollows on the right-hand side, you will see a glowing cube. Simply shoot that one, and that one will be 3 out of 5. The next one that we're going to cover from the Exodus Black spawn, go down here towards the cave. It's on the right hand side from spawn. Go into here, you'll see a Vex Gate and a Vex Minotaur and a few adds. Ignore them if you wish. You don't really need to kill them, but you know, if you don't want to get shot and you want to make a video, simply kill them. So once you're in the room, look up and you will see the cube just sitting there, chilling in the air, easily able to be killed and accessed. 
Once you get that one, that'll be four out of five cubes. We're almost done Nessus already. And then we will move on to IO, which IO is a little bit challenging. So guys, make sure you keep watching the video, please. I don't want to go homeless. Uh, that's a joke. So from the Exodus Black spawn, go into the Arcadian Valley. And then towards the Lost Sector, you will see that there's a bunch of debris hidden away. Go from the debris away from the Lost Sector into this little compartment here. Go around the corner, as you guys can see on screen. Go around the corner, and it will be chilling right in the corner here. Simply shoot this one, and we will have all the ones on Nessus. Now that we have all the Nessus ones, we're going to go to Io, and that will be the last one for this bounty. So, in the Pyramidian area, when you spawn from Asher, simply start going up to the Pyramidian, and you'll see a cube here. Simply shoot it. It's located in the Rupture. So, as you guys can see, I'll open the map and show you where it is. On the Rupture, it's hidden in the way up towards the Pyramidian. Shoot the cube, and then we'll have our first one done on Io. Our next one is through the Sanctum of Bones. I'm going to simply skip all the way through to the very end of the strike, as you guys can see, or sorry, the Lost Sector. Run through all the ads, go through this door, run all the way up into the ad room where all the bo where the boss is. And once you're in here, as you guys can see, I'm a little bit confused, but drop down here to where you normally would go, and you'll see a little hole right on my right-hand side here, and the cube will be located in this little compartment. Unfortunately, you need to run through all the entire Lost Sector to get here, but once you do, that will be number two out of five. The next cube, as you guys can see, will be located around this giant tree trunk. Bungie has a thing around tree trunks. I don't know why. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, it's kind of really annoying because it makes my job hard because i got to look through the tree trunks. It's in the, located in the Lost Oasis. This will be number three out of five. It's not too bad. Located in the giant tree trunk in the middle of the map. You literally cannot miss it. Simply shoot it, and we will have number three out of five. The next one, I am not even going to cut the video clip. So from this one... Follow my route on screen. We're going to go through the tree trunk onto the right-hand side into the Terra base. And the cube will be located from the door. As soon as you get in, you'll see it up above. It'll be located on a little bit of a platform hidden behind a crate. And simply go up to it, shoot it, and that will be numbers 4 out of 5. From the giant scar spawn, follow my route on screen, go on the right hand side into the base and you want to go to the excavation site number two. Follow my route as you guys can see here, you'll see it on the map. You'll want to go through this little hidden crevice and shoot the one. It's located behind a pipe or behind a pillar and it's inside the excavation site. Simply follow my route as I quickly showed it and shoot it and we will be on to the next step which requires us to kill 25 powerful Vex, or collect 25 powerful Vex cores and get 50 precision kills on Vex. There's one way to do this, and a guy said a public event. No, that guy should, that guy's an idiot. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Artifacts Edge, and you want to go into the Orrery. That is the Lost Sector located around here. The reason why you want to go to this Lost Sector is because there are six powerful, well, five powerful Vex Majors in here, each rewarding you with 2% two, two out of 25. So, you know, 2 out of 25. Essentially, you only need to do, you need to do this Lost Sector three times. And once you, as you guys can see, once you do that, simply keep rinsing and repeating this. You guys can get the Vex kills anywhere. This is just way easier because, you know, it's there's Vex in here anyways. And, you know, it's a Lost Sector with Vex. So it, the 
two and two it's why would you go anywhere else there is the one on mercury which i originally was going to do but unfortunately it does not come with nightmare powerful vex so the good thing about this is it comes with them simply go into here and then one run gave me 31 out of 50 and then 10 out of 25 like i said so simply just keep rinsing and repeating until you've met the pre prerequisites god i can't talk prerequisites for this quest and once you have all 50 kills and all 25 vex cores you will then move on to the final part of the quest which requires us to go talk to osiris again and then do probably one of the coolest missions that i have ever done history but i actually omitted the mission in this because i want you guys to experience it and play it so don't worry like i said no spoilers simply speak to osiris he will then instruct you to do a mission, and for this mission, I was a little bit confused, and I'm going to show it in the video where to start this mission. It's literally right next to Osiris. You have to, you know, initiate the Sundial core, and to do this, it's literally like playing through the Sundial public event. Just simply go up to the core, or the terminal, hit square, X, E, whatever you have, do the mission, and then it will kick you out to orbit, and then you'll need to come back and talk to Osiris. And that has been the video, guys. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification box and posting daily Destiny content. Comment down below if this helped you in any way, shape, or form. And as always, guys, have a great night, have a great day, and adios. Ever longer. I was right to contact you.